Hey guys, I don't have a whole lot in the way of remarks to prepare here. Um, we're here to uh, commemorate the life of Barnaby Jack. Um, this is a time to, to share, to celebrate uh, your memories, the life, of, uh, the life of Barnaby. I'm here on stage with uh, what I would call the family and friends of Barnaby. Barnaby left far before his time. We lost a member of our family. And I'm thankful that we have, you know, an hour to provide a space for you to gather, to reflect, to share. And uh, I regret that it's only an hour, but um, we're thankful to be able to provide this space. Uh, I'm going to step away and uh, welcome Mark Mayfrey. Uh, awesome. Thanks everybody for coming out. I'm absolutely humbled to even try to say a few words um, about Burns. I know he obviously touched so many people and, and uh, most importantly, all the love in the world goes out to his uh, sister and girlfriend, all his family in New Zealand who obviously love them on the level that none of us can probably relate. Um, I was lucky enough to uh, meet Barnes kind of just before he got into um, computer security. Um, this is back in, I think, roughly the um, uh, late 90s or so. Um, and I discovered some of the kind of first uh, remote system Microsoft Vulns, and it was such a kind of new thing at the time that there wasn't really any kind of no knowledge on how to exploit these things. And so I figured, you know, if we could find some of the new Win32 x86 assembly and such, you know, maybe we'd have a chance. And uh, so I went on uh, IRC and I went on um, uh, a Win32 uh, assembly channel and uh, ended up meeting this, this guy named uh, Dark Spirit. And um, he, was, uh, he, he was not only quickly understood to just be this insanely smart guy, but you could just tell even, even from IRC uh, as he was all the way over in New Zealand, uh, I, believe, I believe at the time at a, working at a video store. Um, brilliant guy and just and so full of life. And we worked together uh, starting then and, and just doing a lot of the kind of original research around Microsoft and related. And, there's so many things that he's known for, but even in the security space, um, I mean, he did so much, so much so that some of it's even forgotten. Uh, you know, I think that you know, he wrote one of the original kind of papers, the how-to manual back in the day on how to just even exploit uh, Windows-based vulnerabilities. Uh, it was pretty much only him and kind of Dildog at the time um, that were kind of putting that down. And then uh, years later, after finding numerous critical, you know, Microsoft vulnerabilities and such, he also wrote the, uh, uh, what I think one of the best papers uh, on uh, remotely exploiting uh, Windows um, kernel-based vulnerabilities. Uh, I believe the, the title of it was Step Into the Ring Zero. <laughs> he always had the best fucking titles. Um, and... Uh, I, you know, all, all through even that time, all, all the work that he do, did and, and, and so many things behind the scenes with a lot of the vulnerabilities that he was finding in Microsoft and, and, and not just finding them, but the, um, let's say, the unique pressure uh, that, that uh, Barnes knew how to kind of apply. I, I think truly is one, one of the guys that was very instrumental in uh, a lot of those early embarrassments that left to, uh, you know, trustworthy computing and a lot of that improvement. Um, and then, of course, uh, very famously, as a lot of people know him, um, uh, for doing the uh, just absolutely brilliant uh, ATM research uh, and medical device research. And, you know, he did, he did so much from um, a security perspective, but um, the, uh, the thing that, uh, you know, more brilliant than anything that he did from a security perspective was just the way that he lived um, life. And, um, sorry, ah, fuck, he'd be making fun of me so hard right now. <laughs> You're like, oh, you fucking cunt man up. <laughs> um, and, uh, <laughs> um, he just had this brilliant, just brilliant sense of, uh, uh, of life. And, you know, if you, if you were with him, you were always smiling. I mean, it's weird. 
amazing event last night and all these photos of him and just everyone is just smiling or he's just got that cheeky grin that something's, something's about to go down. <laughs> something um, was about and to then, go down. And it pretty much always, pretty much always was. <laughs> And I don't know, he just had such the, ha such the um, embodiment of kind of the, the hacker spirit of just always curious about everything, always challenging himself and pushing through. And, um, and you know, one, one story, it was probably the hardest thing in the world to think of a story I could actually say, um, but uh, one story um, that I remember that was just very much kind of how he, how he lived uh, more than anything kind of technology or security related. We were... Uh, um, we were in Prague one year. We went kind of like for a, a vacation after um, Black Hat Amsterdam, um, which uh, I was talking to his mom about the other night because uh, I took a header into a bar because I was a little too dehydrated. And he's like, oh, don't worry, mom. I thought, or don't, don't worry, mate. You know, he's like, uh, I think his mom was maybe a, a nurse or something in the medical field at the time. And he rings his mom at like 4 a.m. just to get advice. And we, of course, didn't listen to mom's advice and just held a towel and luckily didn't bleed. <laughs> Um, anyways, that's a side side thing. Um, but in in Prague, we sh we showed up after Black Hat Amsterdam, and um, we got there on like a Tuesday or something. And surprisingly, it was a very very quiet town, not much going on. And uh, so we found a pub tour, and we figured, awesome, we'll go hit a bunch of different pubs, learn a little history kind of thing. And uh, I think we got maybe to the second pub or so, and you could tell Barnes was kind of kind of bored, but he was mostly bored because it didn't seem like people were having a good time. Uh, it wasn't wasn't even about him. He's just looking at this group of all these random tourists that we were with, people we didn't even know, old, young, everything. And so he remembered there was a karaoke bar that he had seen. And so he was like, basically, let's convince everybody to go do karaoke with us, all these random strangers. And to get things started, you know, got the whole tour group to go over. And um, we ended up just butchering this fucking Blink-182 song, just absolutely horrible rendition. And I think it was about 10 minutes later after that, Barnes is with, there's a, like a 60-year-old a couple that was celebrating their, like, I don't know, 2030th uh, wedding anniversary. And Barnes has got the guy, the husband, doing like a body shot off the lady. And I just remember, uh, I just remember in that, just pausing in that kind of moment, just looking around at all these total, total strangers that he had just met only a few hours ago. And they clearly were having one of the best moments of their life. And, and, I, and I think that's why he... He touched so many people on so many levels, uh, even more than anything he ever did in, in computer security, just because of the way he lived. And we're just going to miss him deeply, as I know all you guys are. So, All right, guys. Um, we're going to invite everybody to stay. We do have the, the room for the hour. So thank you very, very much to Black Hat. We really, really appreciate it. Um, and we just want to mix and mingle and, and have everybody share some of the, the great stories and antics that were uh, Barnaby Jack. So thanks for coming.